WBON TV is here in downtown Richmond where some recent changes have been made to the DRA or Downtown Richmond Association. The Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild is also gearing up to possibly get funding to fill a void that was lost with the City Commission last week. When you donate to the Habitat Restore, you do more than just clear out stuff from your home or office. By donating it to the Restore, you can help build a new home for someone in need. The donation is tax deductible and they will even come pick it up from you. Check out the Restore for yourself. Located behind the Richmond Mall or on Facebook. We spoke to one such local business owner who has some plans to take over the Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild and possibly get the funding that they so desperately need to bring people downtown. We have just lost our Main Street coordinator. Uh, she gave us five years of dutiful service. Uh, she put so much of her time, so much of her personal money into downtown. She loves downtown. She cares about downtown and she wanted the best for downtown. Uh, she still wants the best for downtown. Her and I, in fact, will be working on a project together soon to reinvigorate Jammin' on Main, which is a downtown uh, festival, so to speak. Uh, her contract was not renewed, um, so as far as our individual program for Main Street, uh, there is no funding. Um, now that is quite different from the nationally recognized Main Street program, which seems to be drawing a lot of confusion. We at one point were a part of that program many years ago. We as of a month ago, we're not a part of that program. So it was not the Main Street program that we withdrew from so much as the Main Street coordinator position that we tabled. Our city's reasoning behind that was along the lines of what can a Main Street coordinator do that our Downtown Richmond Association or Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild or local business owners cannot do. While I don't personally agree with that, I, I'm not going to speak negatively on it. It was a decision that was made and that's what it is. We're now in a position where both the DRA and the Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild are in a state of turmoil. So where the genuine question is further than what can the Main Street Coordinator do that these two groups cannot do, it's who's around that can do something. Um, the DRA losing the Main Street Coordinator means that the DRA lost what little funding they had, which makes their job very difficult. Uh, they've done a lot for us thus far in getting the farmer's market, getting put together, uh, rebuilding some relationships downtown that had been burnt bridges that were burnt for years. You know, they had made some great moves for us, but without funding, without a direct connection to the city, uh, it makes it difficult for them to do what they need to do. The future of downtown is really kind of up in the air. Um, I know that Ron Flickinger down at Meeple started the Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild with the purpose of uniting businesses downtown and showing that when we unite together, we can make things happen. I know that animosity that it was bred after the inception of that group led to some turmoil and led to some businesses pulling out that previously had said they would be a part of it. The end all be all is that because of that, because of the city's position to eliminate the Main Street Coordinator position and because of the fact that the DRA can now not run, uh, in fact has made the decision to no longer do so as far as I'm aware, the, the future of downtown is really up in the air. Uh, I personally will be going to speak with Richard Thomas soon. Uh, in hopes to go about gaining funding for downtown in whatever form it has to come. I, I, I don't care how it has to come, under what guise it needs to be given to us. Um, my aim will be to, uh, unless I'm mistaken, since I, I heard that the DRA will no longer be together, uh, my aim will be to gain funding for the Downtown Richmond Merchants Guild, head that guild myself, and start making some moves. One of the goals, if I do get funding, is to find a way to make that connection. Hey, look at what a doorbells has. Look at what you can get it for versus look at what you'll be paying if you go to JCPenney or Bell. I think another really important thing will be for us to revitalize Jammin on Main and really turn it into a big festival downtown that people can be a part of. It takes everyone being a part of this community for us to continue to help it grow. I think that the main message is visibility and getting people to hear your it own is. voice down. It is. Like it we're here, come out. We're he that's right. We're here and we're here to stay and you know we're going to do everything in our power to make sure you want to come down. Yeah, no, you, you, you nailed it on the head. Visibility. Pride in Richmond is the biggest thing. If you don't have pride in your community, the, your community is going to suffer. 
That's really just what it comes down to. So those are a few things that I really want to touch on if I do get some funding for this group. Hopefully soon Richmond will be making its mark. For WBON-TV here in downtown Richmond, I'm Marissa Hempel.